Hey everybody, this is William. Today I want to talk to you about the department highest salary problem. It's a SQL question from LeetCode and it's very representative of a lot of different SQL questions that can come up in interviews. Um, it's very valid. Basically you'll have a couple tables, maybe a few tables that you have to join together in order to get the name from one table and bring it into another table. And then you have to find like the max salary per department, or it could be the max grades of a student's per department or the lowest salary, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it comes up on lots of interviews all the time. And generally the interviewer wants you to solve it uh, with a subquery or a uh, subquery in a Windows function or in the more elite interviews, they might expect you to be able to solve it with no subquery and no Windows function. And it really depends on the interviewer. So I wanted to walk you through this problem today um, and show you the different ways to solve it depending on the, the situation and the interviewer. So in this problem, we're asked to find the highest salary per department. We're given the following schema. Um, we've got a table for employee which has the employee ID, the name of the employee, the salary of the employee, and the department ID. And then we're also given this table department, which has uh, ID um, corresponding to the department ID, and then the name of the department. And we're asked to write a SQL query to find the employees who have the highest salary in each of the departments. The output is essentially, um, what's the output look like? There it is, department, employee, salary. So I think example one is, is pretty good here. So basically, if this was the employee table, um, got Joe, Jim, Henry, Sam, um, corresponding to two different departments. And the department table is just IT and sales. Then uh, the output would be the department name, which we would get from the department table and the employee and the max um, salary for those departments. In this case, there's a tie um, in the IT department because Jim is making 90,000 and Max is making 90,000. Um, okay, so that's good. So from a notes perspective, um, we know that we have to join the two tables together because we have to get the department name um, but we need the employee name also an employee salary and there can be ties All right, so let's jump into my first solution Okay, so I think this this is a fairly performant clean easy to understand solution um, That will give you a pass most of the time if you don't know anything about the interviewer Going into it, I would start with this. It has one subquery where we find the max salary per department, and then we join that subquery to the department table in order to get department names and the employee table um, in order to get the employee names and the salary. And um, basically, we join it on max salary, which ensures that the with a, with a strict join, which ensures that the only employees that show up are the ones who actually have the max salary, which we determined in this table. Um, when I tried running this a few times, it was running faster than around 85% of solutions. I would say that in most cases, your interviewer will say, good, and then um, you'll go on to the next question, and it's fine. However, Similar to the Marvel Cinematic Universe where you've got diverging timelines, this is an example where 50% uh, of the time or 60% of the time, this is fine and the interviewer will let you move forward. Um, but sometimes the interviewer might ask you to do it with a Windows function. It doesn't make any sense to use a Windows function. In this case, it's just going to slow down the efficiency of this query, um, but some of the more mediocre programmers out there think that the, the Windows function is the solution to everything, and they're really proud of the fact that they know how to use Windows functions. So if you get a mediocre interviewer who asks you, um, can you do this with the Windows function? The answer is yes, you can do it with four different Windows functions, and I'll show you how to do that right now. 
In the subquery, we can take out the group by because we're going to be using a Windows function. And instead of um, max salary, we can do first value salary over order, sorry, partition by partner and order by salary descending. That will work. However, we'll have to put a distinct in because we don't use the distinct, um, it will show every employee with the same max salary, uh, if that makes sense. Let me go ahead and put that down there, readability. And we're ordering by salary descending, so it's taking the first value for every salary by department. So this will also include ties. We can also do last value. order by salary ascending. That will also work. Um, we can do rank or dense rank. It doesn't matter in this case because um, the only difference between rank and dense rank is it matters if for the second value or the third value and so on, whether there's going to be holes in the rankings or not. And since we're only getting the first value, it makes it makes absolutely no difference. Um, so those are the different ways that we can use a Windows function without seriously changing the structure of this query. And I think generally speaking, if the interviewer says, can you do a Windows function? And then you pump out one of these ways, probably the interviewer will, will let you move forward. There's a small chance if you're interviewing at one of the more elite companies or if your interviewer is, is very, very strong when it comes to SQL and also um, not that nice, like most even strong programmers who are nice would generally let you pass with the first solution, that they'll say, can you do this without a subquery or a Windows function? So I'm gonna show you how to do it without a subquery or a Windows function to increase the efficiency. And essentially, um, the issue is we need to filter for employees who only have the max salary per department. So um, how do we do that? Well, we took out the subquery and um, we still need department in order to get the department name in the query. Um, but what we can do is we can actually group by um, department ID or department name, it doesn't make any difference. And then we can use having to actually filter for salary equals max salary. So having max salary equals salary. And essentially what this does is we, instead of putting the max salary um, here, like, like many people would do, and then, you know, turning this into a subquery and then filtering for the, or max salary equals salary, we can accomplish that um, with having, which actually filters like the group by clause. And this is, this is a, a very efficient um, query, <laughs> actually. But I, I wouldn't lead with this because most interviewers won't understand it, and if they don't understand it, um, and you're you're showing them that you're a better programmer than them, then they might actually fail you arbitrarily. So the first query is the one that I would lead at. All right. Going back to my first query, another way we can make this more efficient, and I would never do this in an interview itself, but it's just a little tip that I'm sharing with you. Um, for on the job if you want to uh, do some performance tuning is we actually don't need to use the join operator here at all. Um, what we can do is, since this is a strict join or an inner join, we can join using the where clause instead, um, which relies on the SQL um, order of execution. Because when we're joining, basically, according to the SQL order of execution, first, it's going through the tables and it's joining them and then it's looking to see if there's any filters and then it goes to the select clause. We can make it uh, 
pull the tables more quickly if we actually join using like the where clause. It's just a little trick. So instead of doing it like this, I can say department B salaries S where department E dot department D equals, equals D dot ID and max salary equals salary and um, gotta indent that and S dot department ID equals E dot department ID. So this is a little trick. Actually, uh, this query runs about 99%. It runs faster than 99% of the solutions on LeetCode currently. If we use the join operator, it only runs faster than 85%. But again, I wouldn't bring this up during an interview. It's just a little tip that you can use for on the job. Anyway, really appreciate you guys. Uh, I know I ran through those solutions fast, but uh, hopefully, um, hopefully that's helpful and uh, looking forward to talking to you again real soon.